Welcome to our channel. Please like the video, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you do not miss any new stories. It was on June 29, 2001. Exactly 18 years ago today that 29-year-old Patricia F. Patty Adkins packed her bag and headed to her job at the local Honda plant in Marysville, Ohio. The single mom of one young daughter was looking forward to her final shift before what she supposed would be a romantic getaway with a fellow line operator with whom she was having an affair. The couple had planned a holiday to a remote cabin in Canada nonetheless. This trip had to be kept on the down low. You see, the two had a private relationship due to the man being married. They planned to leave jointly in his truck after their shifts. Patty had hitched a ride from a friend to work that day so her car wouldn't sit in the company parking lot. Drawing attention or looking suspicious while she was out of town. Patty was last noticed clocking out at 19 seconds after midnight on June 29, 2001, wearing her white Honda of America uniform. With their relationship being so secretive a rather tricky plan was concocted so they could leave jointly. Patty was to hide in the bed of her boyfriend's truck under a tarp because a third person, also a co-worker, was going to be getting a ride home that night. Since the boyfriend was wedded, he didn't like other people to know he and Patty were seeing each other so she reportedly snuck into the bed of the truck and readied herself for their secret rendezvous. Patty arranged for her sister Marcia Pitts to watch her daughter while she was on her trip saying she would pick her daughter up on Sunday, July 8th. That day came and went and Patty never came. Her family knew something disastrous must have happened as Patty would never leave her daughter for an extended duration. As the search for Patty heated all eyes pointed to the man she was last noticed with, her married boyfriend. When he was queried, he refuted all involvement claiming he and Patty never had plans to go on holiday together and that he just knew her slightly. He said he and a co-worker left the plant together that night and drove toward Kenton, Ohio, stopping only at a Burger King for some dinner. He also claimed they had to wait 45 minutes at the drive through line, then headed home. The boyfriend's wife backed up his alibi, stating that he reached home at 2.30 a.m. which was his usual routine. She also claimed to not know about an affair. When the Burger King manager was interviewed they said there was absolutely no drive through backup and related that they were never busy at that hour. Items later discovered in the boyfriend's home validated their affair. He would also fail a lie detector test. Other evidence included a single drop of blood in his truck bed but was unable to be tested due to the minuscule size. They also discovered cat hair reportedly matching Patty's cat found in the bed of his truck as well. Interestingly enough it's also been reported that Patty had given him thousands of dollars in the months leading up to her disappearance to help him buy out his wife in a business the married couple ran together. Patty did so at his behest because he needed to prevent his wife from taking the business during a potential future divorce. While Patty Adkins' boyfriend has always been the main suspect, evidentiary requirements for murder measure beyond that of reasonable doubt, and in this case. Authorities say they just didn't have sufficient to bring a conviction. While her corpse has never been discovered Patty has been declared deceased by law enforcement.